If you've been watching my channel, then you'll know that social anxiety is a really big challenge for me. You'll also know that I publicly committed to tackling my social anxiety. I did that by naming my 14 social anxiety triggers and stating on YouTube that I am going to embrace each one of them. In this video, I'm going to share with you how I got on tackling my first social anxiety trigger, which was going to the cinema with someone I trust. I have a feeling this video is gonna be a bit like a story because the events that unfolded when I went to the cinema were ridiculous. I'm just gonna tell it how it was. So, I invited my friend that I have known for best part of 10 years. We have never spent time together socially, but I would call her a friend because when we connect at work, we get on famously. We don't work together, but we see each other at my place of work. We have stacks in common. We always giggle when we're together and I feel really comfortable in her company. So I sent her a link to my anxiety challenge video and apologized in advance, said that I knew it was a bit of a crazy out there request, but would she mind helping me with my challenge? She came back and said, I'm really honored that you've asked me and love the fact that you have trusted me when you feel so emotionally delicate and you think I'm someone that can make you feel comfortable. So kicked off to a brilliant start. We agreed that we were gonna to go to the cinema together. I was lucky that I'd kind of covered most of my social anxiety quirks in the video that I sent her so I didn't actually have to go into too much detail about how I felt I needed to handle the night. She already had a pretty good understanding so that was great. Felt really comfortable, she didn't think I was silly, she didn't like ask me any judgmental questions, she was just really chilled and she was like, yep, cool, let's do it. I think we'd both planned for me to actually do some vlogging while I was on my challenge, but in the end it just didn't really feel appropriate, it kind of just felt like two friends hanging out having fun, and so I thought I'd just do a summary afterwards rather than kind of interrupt the flow of the evening. It was an evening to remember. The day before we planned to meet up, we'd actually seen each other at work again and so we sort of ironed out our logistical considerations like which film we were going to see, what time, where we were going to meet, that kind of thing. That was all fine. About an hour beforehand I just texted her and said like just checking everything's still okay for this evening. She was like yep yeah, everything's great. Then about 10 minutes later she texted me and said slight change of plan. Now for someone with social anxiety, the words slight change of plan are not words you wanna hear. And I was like, okay, where's this going? She then said, my mum and my boyfriend have decided that they would also like to see the film that we're seeing, so they're gonna come too. And I was like, oh my gosh. She immediately then followed that with a text saying, but it's okay, they're gonna go to the cinema and pretend like they don't know us and they won't be anywhere near where we're gonna be. So we can just go out as planned and it will just be you and me and there won't be any pressure. Right, so I'm thinking, yeah, how is this gonna work and how weird and how awkward as a human being do I now look to those two people? I've never met her boyfriend and I have kind of said hi to her mum but to the point where I probably wouldn't have recognised her if I bumped into her in the street. So uber awkward. Because I know her so well, I did just burst out laughing. I just thought, yeah, I am just absolutely not surprised that this isn't gonna be straightforward. The old me, before I had like worked on my stuff in therapy, would have completely freaked out. I wouldn't have been able to go, simple as that. I would have overthought the two other people that I didn't know being there. I probably would have had to have changed my clothes in the region of 10 to 15 times because I wouldn't have felt comfortable 
in myself and that would have been like a ritual to make me feel okay about myself. I would have definitely run late because I used to do that if I was too anxious I would like deliberately stall because it would make me feel like I was putting off going and I wouldn't have to spend as long being somewhere. I just would have if I'd have even got out the door without making some excuse as to why I suddenly couldn't come, it would have been such an ordeal for me. So the very fact that she sent that message and I found it within myself to be able to chuckle and think, okay, we're just gonna go with the randomness of the situation. Immediately I thought to myself, that's progress, that's huge progress. Oh my gosh, that's working, Way. Well, hey. I thought, no, in for a penny, in for a pound, I'm doing this challenge and if it brings scenarios that I wasn't expecting, then let's go for it. So, drove to the cinema, which is about eight miles. Again, historically, my heart rate would have increased. I would have got really, really nervous doing that. I would have driven badly because I would have been preoccupied thinking about my anxieties for the evening ahead. I really had to work hard at concentrating right in front of the cinema because I was starting to get that way but I kind of kept it calm, I said no, pay attention to the moment that I'm in which is driving to the cinema, focus on that and then think about the cinema when you get there. I was sort of 10 steps ahead thinking right oh how are we going to meet each other, is that going to be awkward, are we going to be able to find each other, we'd sort of like let each other know where we thought we'd meet. But nonetheless, there's always that sort of anxiety around, is it all just going to be that straightforward? As I pulled into the car park, she had stood right by the lift. So I could see her when I entered the car park and she was on her own. So immediately I felt completely relieved. I thought, great, I haven't got to worry about finding her. She's not with anyone else. I'm still okay. Everything is fine. Got out of my car, walked over to her. And then she headed straight for the stairs. Now, as you've probably seen in my other videos, I go to cinema all the time, but I go with my boyfriend. We always get the lift. And I really felt like, oh, this isn't how we normally do things. And I thought, shall, shall I tell her I prefer to get the lift or shall I just go with the stairs? And I thought, no, this is about breaking out of your comfort zone. If you just do what you've always done, then you're not gonna make any progress at all. So I figured it would be beneficial to keep my mouth shut go with walking down the stairs and just roll with difference and not the same uniform pattern of behaviour that I always go with. I think I crack some kind of joke about like taking the long route then because I don't like walking. <laughs> so I just, I kind of thought I'll just put that in there somewhere. And it was fine, like the great thing was because we were walking side by side, we didn't have to do direct eye contact, which is something else I really struggle with socially. So it just felt really comfortable. She's a really chatty person as well, which just really helped because there wasn't pressure to fill empty space. It was just lovely. We had loads of stuff to talk about walking into the cinema, which is actually probably only a two minute walk. So everything was fine, everything was fine. She then frog marched up the escalator, which again, I would have just stood still and been a bit lazy. But that was fine. <laughs> it was just, it just was what it was. We then walked into the foyer and there was this, amongst, I don't know, 50, 60 other people, there was this guy wearing the most electric blue jacket you've ever seen in your life. So naturally, I looked at him and I then saw him checking out my friend, kind of like from top to toe. And I thought, oh, he's caught her eye. And I figured, so I'm guessing that's your boyfriend, because if it's not your boyfriend, that guy's really eyeing you up. And he was stood with a woman that looked not dissimilar to what I thought her mum looked like. And I was like, this is now the most awkward situation ever, because the two people that have tagged along who promised to be like invisible are about 10 feet away from us, and we know they're there, and they know we're there, and we also know that we've all agreed not to talk to each other. Cringe! So they were kind of like scurrying around, trying to head off in the opposite direction. We were like heads down, let's just look at the cashier girl who's about to serve us our popcorn, let's just sort out our tickets, and let's just maintain this whole ignoring each other thing. Got our tickets, that was fine. Her boyfriend had wandered off by this point and left her mum completely on her own. So her mum is stood right where you hand your ticket in to go through. So it was about a foot 
foot and a half away from her mum and she was, and my friend kept saying no no it's fine honestly like don't, don't talk to her it's okay I'm now feeling really rude because I'm not saying hi to her mum her mum's looking at the floor because she's trying to be respectful of the fact that we had like planned this whole anxiety challenge and we just needed to be out on our own making everything ten times worse and I was just like oh my god it was great because I wasn't anxious because I was so preoccupied by how like rude I was coming across by not saying hello and kind of how awkward everything was anyway we handed our tickets in and we kind of like went through the other door and we just went off and sat in the cinema and it was all fine five minutes later they come into the cinema because they're seeing the same film as us sort of looking a little bit shifty but decide to take their seats and um, they were sat sort of about halfway down we were on the back row i'm still at this point feeling like oh bless them they're trying so hard not to look at us and this is just really awkward then another minute goes by and this couple come in go over to them two seconds later my friend's mum and boyfriend stand up and start walking up the stairs towards us and I'm like, I can see what's happened here. They're supposed to be sitting closer to us than they had led us to believe. Out of respect for the situation, they took some random seats in the middle of the cinema. The rightful owners of those seats have now turned up. And they're going to assume the seats they should have had in the first instance. Needless to say, they then sat in the row in front of us, one seat along from us. Me and my friend were trying so hard not to laugh at the ridiculousness of this situation, and my friend's boyfriend and mum were still trying so hard to ignore us out of respect. <laughs> it was just... It was just ridiculous. Oh dear. I'll confess. I am a popcorn lover, so I bought popcorn. My boyfriend regularly complains about how noisy I munch on my popcorn when he is trying to listen to the film. So I said to my friend, if at any point you think I'm being too loud, just give me an elbow and I will tone down the munching. Throughout the whole film, which was quite a quiet film, we went to see Murder on the Orient Express. And so there's a lot of quiet talking. There's not a lot of like action sound at all. So the whole way through I'm kind of trying to eat really quietly, which meant I didn't actually finish my popcorn until about 15 minutes before the end of the film. I probably wasn't making that much noise and I probably didn't need to worry about it too much. I just hope I didn't come across too noisy, because she would have probably been too polite to say, I don't know. Maybe she wouldn't have been. Towards the end of the film I then kind of whispered to her and said, look, we have to go out for a drink now with your boyfriend and mum because this has just been like, we've just bumped into each other, sat too close to each other for me to just kind of like walk off back to my car, you walk off back to yours and for me not to say hi to them. It would have been completely different if, if we had not clapped eyes on one another, then the plan would have worked. But the fact that we saw each other like 10 times <laughs> during that experience, I was like, we cannot not then hang out because I will just look like the rudest human being on the planet. At the very end of the film, she leant forward and she was like, hey guys, should we go for a drink? And they were like, yeah, let's do it. Okay, great. I also wanted to push myself. I wanted to challenge myself. And I thought the cinema thing had been a lot easier than I had hoped, especially under the circumstances. So I thought, I want to go for a drink because that is going to be hard and that's going to be another challenge and if I survive that then I'll have done doubly well. I'm a bit of a taskmaster on myself. We came out of the cinema screen and we still didn't know whether to say hello to each other or not. So sort of silently we kind of like walked into the toilet, came out of our cubicles and then I could kind of in front of her mum again and, I was, and she said to me, it was a good film wasn't it? film and I'm really sorry this was so weird and I didn't talk to you earlier and she's like it's fine I'm sorry we saw you <laughs> thanks I, I just at that point had just given up it was just ridiculous 
I think as well there was sort of like an exchange in the foyer where we kind of leant over, hugged each other, introduced ourselves, and that was really nice. It was, it was so nice that they were just like finding it funny, being supportive, being friendly, and not being judgmental. They weren't kind of like looking at me like I was a complete oddball. They weren't looking at me like I needed help. They were being really supportive, which was so lovely and made me feel even better and stronger about the situation. So I'm gonna leave that there as the video that explains what happened when I challenged my anxiety by going to cinema with a friend. And if you wanna find out what happened at the bar restaurant that we went to after the cinema, check out the part two video that I will be uploading shortly. Hit subscribe if you want to be notified as soon as that video goes live. Like this video if you found it amusing and leave your comments below if you are tackling your social anxiety, especially if you're doing it as part of this challenge. Thanks for watching.